we've been we've been asked to um, do do this workshop um, looking at kind of Dallas United's processes and to do lots of video stuff so that you can see our projects, but also for you guys to have a chance of dancing yourselves and experiencing what it's like um, for the young people that we work with on our projects in terms of very much day one of a project, what they would experience, what would they would go through, what we would be asking of them, what we would be expecting of them. So I'm Carly um, and I've been working with Dunch United as one of their dance directors for the past six, six years. So I've worked um, very much, started working within Dunch United prison projects when they were working with women in Holloway Prison for a long time. Um, and then mainly been working over the last five years um, with um, a programme that's called the Academy, which is an award-winning programme working with young offenders, those at risk of offenders, where they work full-time over 12 weeks, five days a week, based on professional dance training, um, and get their accreditation. Um, so it's a really interesting project, and a really, really tough project. Um, and we are, Dunstan United was invited to work um, as part of this festival, um, so alongside this, we've been working for the last um, three weeks in The Hague with a group of young people who have never danced before um, and they will be performing tomorrow afternoon as part of that festival. So we came to Holland um, the kind of first time that um, they've experienced uh, the way of working that we have back in the UK, um, working with young people that are, have no interest in contemporary dance, have no interest in, in performance. Um, but in three weeks, that's our jobs to get them on stage looking absolutely amazing and fantastic and they are to be motivated. So the young people that we worked with in Holland are from the Luna Foundation um, and they are young people that are from a variety of backgrounds, some refugee backgrounds um, that have been brought into Holland, um, young people that are not at school, um, that are generally kind of struggling with lots of issues in their lives. Um, so we met them three weeks ago, and they'll be performing tomorrow. So I've just run from that rehearsal to here. Uh, I've been trained by Dance United like about 14 years ago. I was a really small kid, and since then, after I, I become professional, I, I start working like professionally teaching in like everywhere in different parts of the world, and also working with Dance United, teaching the young offenders in England. And I also start working in Ethiopia at the same project, and I, I work with the community with professional companies, and yeah, shortly that's it. That's my. And um, the class that you'll be doing is a class that we've been doing with the young people back in the Hague, um, and they were all new to that dance style. Um, and then we're going to teach you a very short bit from the piece that they'll be performing um, on Sunday, so you get to kind of have a, a go at some of that movement. Um, and then we're going to unpick the methodology. Dance United has a particular methodology of working. So we're going to look at that all together and we are then going to look at another film um, that shows you the kind of inside of what it is like in that dance studio. Because we're not interested in hearing about any of their backgrounds. We were wanted to work with them very much as dancers and as a dance company. Um, that three weeks time they were going to be on stage performing. Um, performing a piece of choreography that's 20 minutes long. Um, that um, our standards are really high, that we expect, not here, we expect really, really high standards um, and that we were going to really challenge them to be there, but there were going to be a lot of support to get them to that place. Um, and we talked a lot about the fact that um, they probably can't imagine what talent exists inside of them. Um, and it's our jobs to kind of get that out of them and to get the best out of them in that time. Of course, we're interested in what they bring as individuals to the project in terms of they're all unique, they all move in a very unique way, all of that stuff. But right from day one, we, we go, this is fresh. This is who you are on the project. In the three-week piece, we would say the piece that you're going to learn, which they're learning at the moment, is momentum. Um, that piece has um, sections that are, are choreographed. It has a structure, so we know that structure when we go in to work with them. Um, but it has parts that are creative, so there's creative tasks for them to make work within it. Um, but very much we're interested in working with them in the now and what they bring as dancers into the space. Yeah. And where it's also like making them confident yeah. about what they're going to do. Like if, if they talk about who they are and what they did, it like you just create the conflict. Uh, we, our expectations of young people are high. They're here. 
um, and we are going to give you the best teachers, the best spaces, um, but we expect that level of commitment, that level of discipline, um, that level of energy into the space. And, you know, some people would say it's a real high risk strategy of going into them to going, you know, we strip them of their feet, their jewellery, their mobile phones. Um, all their status. All their status, day one. That, that is, you know, you, you enter the dance studio and you are a dancer. It, it's about kind of setting a level straight away and being incredibly clear with them about how we're going to work together. Um, and they come with you. And actually when you set the level high, it's amazing what they reach to and push for. Yes, there's a lot of kind of pulling and pushing and encouragement and, you know, keeping them going. But I think it's really important that they, they have a choice to go, do I want to do this? And, you know, at, you know, particularly this week in The Hague, you know, we've been talking a lot, it's their third week of the residency, talking a lot to them about, you have to want it now, and you have to want it for yourself and for your group. Um, but, yeah, I don't think to force them to be there is something that we wouldn't encourage. If they are not wanting to be there and they are bringing down the group, then there is the, the, the choice for them to leave. Yeah. Yes. And that's really important, I think, for process. Um, at the same time, there will be dropout rate. You know, it is a really rigorous, tough project. The range of people that we've got on the Hague at the moment on the residency, they are, you know, we have some real natural movers, and we have some people that really struggle knowing where they are in the space. And the, the structure is within that. They they may be a duet and that duet may have some creative elements where they input their ideas into that and their own movement. Yeah.